What is this word that was made flesh and dwelt among us? Love. Later on in his gospel, St. John gives the word of our Lord, By this shall all men know you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. And in Matthew, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with thy whole heart, thy whole soul, and mind, and thy neighbor as thyself. For this reason, Christ came into the world, that we may be men, women, and children of God, and joint heirs with Christ. We do this by showing the glory of God through the greatest virtue, love. I'd say love has three main elements. Firstly, you think of the one love most often, continually, or at least frequently throughout the day. Where thy treasure is, there is thy heart also. One might think, but all day long we're in the world dealing with worldly men. See God in them. They too have souls made in his likeness and image. Our souls too want to remind us of him, especially when we're in the state of grace. God's presence ought to render us in different spirits, knowing we are his temples. He dwells within us. So as the spiritual writers have put it, be always as you would in the presence of God, for there you always are. God is everywhere. He sees everything you do. He's always with you. Act accordingly. Also a part of love is the desire to be with the one loved. And we receive our Lord in the Blessed Sacrament. We receive God himself. What a wonderful gift. No obstacle to this should ever be allowed to remain. We must root out anything that stands in our way to being in union with God. What keeps you from ascending? What keeps you from growing, from progressing? As St. John of the Cross put it, for whether it be a strong wire, rope, or a slender and delicate thread that holds the bird, it matters not. It really holds fast, for until the core be broken, the bird cannot fly. So we avoid whatever might separate us from God. We know this to be ourselves, if one were to think about it. For neither principalities nor powers nor any other creature can separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. The devil himself cannot take it away from us. No, we lay it down ourselves. We give it up. What is it in ourselves that separates us? Why do we want to be parted from God? If we boil it down, it's doing our will when it's not united to God's will. This is why the baby Jesus came. Not my will, but thine be done. And he went down with them and was subject to them. God Almighty serving man because he loves us because he desires our soul and so the final point when you love someone you desire them to be loved by others to be praised by others what we have here is a gift from God I think of myself now a Catholic priest. I think of my relatives, even my own brothers and sisters stuck in the Novus Ordo or some quasi-traditional group. <clears throat> makes me, me realize it's a gift from God that I can return. Not because I'm smarter than them or holier, but God has given me the grace to cooperate with his grace. That's why we ought to pray every day, to cooperate with the grace of the current moment. 
a Christmas gift that truly keeps on giving. One which can help others. Yes, you and I, we can give others the example of our faith. This ought to be our desire. Simply put, go to heaven and take as many souls as we can along the way. He never expressed it himself, but I know this is the bishop's mind. Another gift from God. We have a very holy bishop. And so, that should be our desire as well. Following his, his, following his example. One more example. Go to heaven and take as many souls as you can along the way. And that's what Christmas is all about, Charlie Brown. Not material things, not even only family and friends and togetherness, but union with God. He came to show us the way. The way which is Him. The Word made flesh. Love incarnate. But we must go to him with the haste of the shepherds and through imitation of our lady. And we may always live in God's presence. As she did, we must keep the word love and ponder it in our hearts. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.